A320. Mentor Channel. Captains, Happy New Year and welcome to 2026. We are kicking off this year with the biggest announcement in the history of the A320 Mentor Channel. Say goodbye to static manuals and rote memorization. Today, I am proud to unveil the A320 NeoSim Master App. This is state-of-the-art software designed to push your technical knowledge to the absolute limit. So, what can it do? You can generate complex scenarios, recreating real-world events like the JetBlue 292 gear jam in seconds. You have an AI instructor standing by to answer complex questions about fail operational logic or CAT3 procedures instantly, and you can track your competency to measure your growth over time. This is the tool we've been waiting for in our constant pursuit of excellence. The software is available right now via our exclusive membership tiers. Click the Join button right here on the channel page and select the A320 Mentor Level 6. Just follow the instructions and open the link to get instant access to the A320 Sim Master app. Watch the full reveal video. Let's make 2026 the year you master the machine. See you in the Sim. Welcome to the A320 Neo Sim Master. We start here in the Scenario Generator to build a specific training session. On the Instructor panel, we'll select our operator, JetBlue, and navigate to ATA System 32 for the landing gear. We are going to trigger a wheel-nose-wheel -wheel steering fault. To make this realistic, we'll toggle Real Event Mode to use historical data and set the complexity level to high. Now, let's execute. The system has generated the JetBlue Flight 292 scenario, replicating the famous nose gear jam incident. At the top, we have our initial states preloaded, weight, speed, and weather conditions. On the right, the instructor panel confirms the active failures, the LG shock absorber fault, and the nose wheel steering fault. As we move down, you can see the dynamic event sequence, outlining the timeline from the initial fault detection to the emergency approach. Scrolling further, SimMaster provides the educational framework for the session. Here is the DODAR model, diagnosis, options, decision, assessment, and review, tailored specifically for this gear jam. Below that, we have the NITS briefing script for the captain to communicate with the cabin crew. Finally, we have the competency matrix and detailed assessment guide. This gives the instructor specific behaviors to watch for, ensuring the crew effectively manages the ECAM procedures and fuel considerations. Now, let's switch to the dashboard view. This radar chart visualizes the pilot's core competencies, such as application of procedures, communication, and situational awareness. On the left, the performance trend graph tracks progress over the last 10 sessions, allowing us to identify consistency or degradation in performance over time. Briefly checking the ATA Reference tab, this is a digitized, searchable version of the minimum equipment list. You can quickly filter by ATA chapter to verify dispatch status for any system item. Let's utilize the AI instructor for a complex technical query. We'll ask about a dual FCU failure below alert height during CAT3 operations. The AI analyzes the request and generates a detailed response. It breaks down the fail operational philosophy of the A320. It explains that below the alert height, usually 100 feet, the system is designed to land safely even after a failure. It highlights that unless the auto land warning light triggers, the correct procedure is generally to continue the approach. Finally, we move to the ATA Reference tab. This library contains all system chapters. Let's go to ATA 29, Hydraulic Power. We can view specific warnings and cautions. If we select the green and yellow system low pressure fault, notice how clicking Select instantly redirects us back to the scenario generator. The failure is now pre-populated in the setup field, ready for immediate execution. A320 Mentor Channel.